So this one's going to be in your key ingredient. You're going to start off. Um, if you don't have your package, I'm not going to tell you the amounts. You're going to know, go and know the amounts based on your Edmodo folder. So uh, make sure you have your Edmodo um, folder printed from the uh, French unit. Okay? That's key. So, And I'm going to stir vigorously. And so 
all becomes a nice smooth ball. One smooth ball, okay? While that happens, notice I have some water going. I'm not, you know, boiling water for sake of nothing. I have a full pot of water, okay? It's gonna come together into a nice smooth ball, all right? And this part's key, take it off the heat. Do not put it back on the heat from this point forward. A lot of people mix up and they actually put it back on the heat and they have lumps of scrambled eggs inside the dough and it tastes really gross, okay? So at this point, I'm gonna let it cool down, okay? For a little bit. While that happens, your partner should be able to start cutting and uh, getting your mixture ready. So I'm gonna cut some yams. And I think <laughs> I'll dice it this time. And you can use any of the cuts. From now on, remember, you're going to only use your cuts that I've taught you so that you can keep practicing it. So you can make Juliet. I'm going to do Juliet of uh, apples, maybe. That's a lot of apples. Um, by the way, I do not want to buy new things, so uh, just check what I have in there. If you don't like it, then do something else, okay? Um, my Savoy cabbage, I think I'm gonna ship a knot. Ship a knot. Remember, you're not doing exactly what I'm doing. You're gonna make your own filling or garnishes, okay? So I expect something so a little bit different. So I'm gonna. Okay. While I'm doing that, my mixture, what I'm doing is that I'm kind of letting it cool until it becomes. Um, able to put my finger in there for 10 seconds. Okay? Maybe yours five. Because you get too much of Okay. Alright. I'm going to cut this up into a nice dice. Stack it. Third time I said it. Sorry. Leaks. 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 Lea
fixes uh, goes really well with butter. So now, just because that apple and cheddar doesn't mean that it's sweet, it's going to be more savory. So I'm going to toss that one with some um, rosemary, and I think that will go really well. Okay. I have some extra bechamel sauce, so I might make a sauce on the bottom if I want to. But yeah, feel this. Yeah, it's ready to go. I'm not putting it on the heat. I repeat, I'm not putting it on the heat. By the way, you have uh, different types of cheeses that you can use. I have brie from France, which is actually quite nice. So you can put, put dice of cheese in there. I have a Spanish cheese called manchego if you want to do that. Or you can do Parmesan. But this one, I my student already got it for me. So I'm going to put <coughs> this type of cheese, which is just Gruyere cheese. OK? So anything that I don't need, I'm just going to put it to the side. I would like to put it up here. OK. So I'm putting my cheese in. You don't need a lot. I didn't even use it all. I'm going to put my herbs in. So chopped parsley, whatever types of herbs you like. Okay. Um, so you're starting to make choices. I'm not going to be feeding you with just like having me decide everything. Okay. I'm teaching you the basics and then you decide what flavors and what you want in here. Okay. So my cheese is melted in and it's mixed in. And at this point, I'm going to start the important part, which are the eggs. It says one to two eggs because of this reason. You don't need necessarily both eggs. Every time I add a different amount. Every single time I make this, it's a different amount. Okay? So I start with the first one. And I don't want to add too much. So in the beginning, it's most likely guaranteed that you'll need one egg. But this is the test is that you're going to make it into a drop batter, meaning that when it drops, it's going to go and come down. Um, and it's going to become, it's going to become really loose, and I'll show you. So to make this very successful one, it's all about the beating. All right? It's how much you beat this. Okay, so Jacob. And I'm just going to go ahead mix this. And you have to make sure that you mix really hard. Okay, so your arm's going to fall off, I guarantee you. It feels like it, at least. And you're going to keep mixing until it's incorporated into the dough. Because if not, you're not going to have a proper amount of eggs. So the first one I'm going to do is quite liberal. So most likely you'll need mm -hmm. one and a half eggs. So you might want to start with um, one and then um, share the other one with your partner because you definitely don't need it. And each group has a different amount. All right. So you're looking at the observation. So I'm going to keep mixing. And it's going to come, and what I'm looking for is that it's the plop. When I plop it down, I want to see it's like beard, OK? And that, if it does that, that means it needs more egg. If it goes all the way down, that means too much egg, most likely your gnocchi will fall apart, OK? Um, you don't have to do this, but if you do, you get extra marks. Is that I actually turned my oven on to 400. And I'm going to also make it brujour. Okay. So, adding a little bit at a time. Oh, way too much. Okay. Now, you have to be confident because remember, a lot of times you guys are adding way too little and then it wastes your time. So, be efficient and be confident in what you're going to be doing. So I'm mixing again. Sorry, I got uh, a little bit before, so my left arm is actually not as strong as before. OK, same thing. I do the plop test. Oh, it's a little bit better. It's starting to stretch a little bit. I want it to down here, OK? It's like a little beard. But you don't want it to be like a long beard, like this person's super old. Okay, 
you want it to be just a little bit. And that's key, because if it's too short, that means not enough egg, and then what will happen is it will um, be too stiff and it'll fall apart. If you actually add too much egg, it will also fall apart. Sounds a little bit like eggs benedict. Where everything too much or too little is not good. <coughs> Take your 
line. And you're going to go and kind of squeeze in a steady stream. And you're just going to go and cut little dumplings right into your, um, into your water. And it's just simmering. Now, the thing about this is a lot of people just do four or five, and then they kind of let it go. But to be efficient, just do this twice. Do this process, whole process twice. So I'm like cutting a whole bunch in there. Just to raise up the 
goes. And I'm going to make it a kind of sweet. So I'm going to glaze my yam. So I'm going to take this a little soft. So you don't have to do two. I'm just showing you two different ways of doing it. All right? I'm going to also put some butter in here. And I'm going to start my base and apples and everything else. Yours. Um, if you're going to make that, one thing you can't do is open and close the oven door, or else it will not rise. So you need to go ahead and kind of leave it alone. All right? You know that your gnocchi is ready to pan fry when it actually um, sinks to the bottom. So float to the top when it's cooking, sinks to the bottom when it's done. When it's cool. Enough. Okay? So take that off.